It's not easy. It's a massive pain in the ass. I mean, being an entrepreneur and being in business is just a big pain in the ass. Yeah. All right, just in the past few days, I'll just give you an example. A bank that I'm doing business with and closing on an acquisition of a new deal with pulls out last minute, oh, wow. just decides, hey, we're not gonna do this deal with you. Leaving me with like 12 days to figure out how I'm gonna close on this deal, I'll probably have to write a check out of my own pocket to bridge the gap that the bank was gonna fill. People in my, on my team in my office have things going on in their lives. Personally, it means different things for them for work now. And yeah. you know, I have to f work through that and solve all of that stuff. Yeah. I got cabinets that we have on order for months. They can't get delivered. I gotta locate the new vendor first that can give me a similar product, similar quality, similar color that can match and blend with all the other stuff that I have and who I can count on to actually execute and make the delivery. Yeah. You know, appliances are tough to get right yeah. now. Same thing with appliances. I've got projects that I'm finishing up. I can't get appliances until March or April, maybe. I mean, this is the kind of thing that happens every second of every day. It's not easy. It's a massive pain in the ass. I mean, being an entrepreneur and being in business as an entrepreneur is just a big pain in the ass and you gotta yeah. be able to deal with it. And if you can't, or if you're like not good with stress and not good with pressure, yeah. it's just not gonna be right for you, I think.